Hey guys, uh, today is Thursday, so today is shot day. So I wanted to talk about something. There's a guy, Cat, I'm pretty sure it's Cat. He does shot talk videos. For every shot he does, he talks about a different topic. He has for the duration of his shot to make the video and talk about it or whatever he wants to talk about. So I actually wanted to like do something really similar because I think it's a really good idea. It's a good opportunity to discuss something and it distracts you from doing your own shot so you're more likely to do it, at least in my case you are. Maybe it'll be something that helps you just distract yourself so that you can do your shot. While I was doing my shot I wanted to talk about fragile masculinity and redefining finding masculinity because I think that it's a really big deal. I was thinking about it because I pulled out my band-aids and I have these unicorn band-aids. I, I love them. You know, I was thinking about how a lot of guys like just they see the girly things or the things that aren't masculine and they think that by using them or by applying whatever that is to their life that it's gonna make them less of a man and that's absolutely not the truth. If anything, I think it makes you more of a man. I have a good friend and his little brother always, you know, paints his nails and stuff like that and um, he's probably one of the straightest guys I know. A lot of people associate being feminine with being gay or flamboyant and uh, if, if you're a guy or you identify as a male or non-binary, people like to see the flamboyancy as femininity and I think that that's ridiculous because that that doesn't make any sense at all. Masculinity and femininity are both, I hope I'm saying that right, <laughs> are both um, society's norms. You know, it's what society has told us is the correct and proper thing. And it doesn't mean shit, honestly. It doesn't mean shit because society makes all sorts of rules that you know, we don't have to agree with. But I just think it's kind of ridiculous to focus on something like a unicorn band-aid and say, oh, that's too girly, I can't have that on me, and like, get something with baseballs or sports-related stuff instead, as if being in sports, like, makes you, you know, like, manly and stuff. I have plenty of friends that are girls that are in sports and they're super feminine and that's totally fine like I, I just feel like the things that society is deemed um masculine and feminine are kind of ridiculous like sports that's a unilateral thing anybody can play sports it doesn't make you more masculine just because you're you're doing something active like that I think that's ridiculous like everybody should be active and like it's like uh in the weightlifting industry you know it's kind of nerve-wracking to go and lift weights oh I need my sharps bucket uh hold on one second <sighs> Anyway, it's kind of nerve-wracking to like go and lift weights because if you're a trans guy or you're a female um, or you identify as a female because a lot of people see lifting weights as something that's inherently masculine and, you know, being bulky or muscular is a bad thing and it's, you know, it's just ridiculous. Like, are you serious? Being fit and healthy is not a bad thing ever. Like, why do you, mm, it just doesn't make sense to me. So I just think that we should like work, you know, even like, even if it's just in our own personal lives, you should work on redefining your own masculinity, you know, if that is how you identify. I'm not saying that everybody has to be masculine or identify in that way. I'm just saying like, if you do like take into consideration that masculinity is different for everybody and you can make it whatever you want to make it you don't even have to make it masculinity it can be whatever the hell you want it to be it can just be you because like we shouldn't see words like masculine and feminine and make that the end-all be-all you know like that's just not fair to anybody and you're more likely to just suffer than end up being happy I don't know how the hell to open my sharps bucket Shouldn't be difficult to get your sharps container open and closed. That's pretty freaking important. Oh, fuck. Got it. Back to what I was saying. I think that in society, we just see it as a terrible, bad thing to be, you know, feminine if you're trying to identify as masculine. And I think that we let it get to us a lot more than we should. I'm just saying, like, take some time and think about how you feel about the words masculine and feminine, what they mean to you, 
and how you can work on making those words your own. You know, not society's words, but like your own words and your own version of who you are. Like, I think it's really important to work on who you feel like as a person and not let what society says a word means, you know, be the end all be all. It's, it's you know, it's up to you. And just, I guess what I'm saying is like, just don't let that be the reason that you don't feel comfortable with yourself, you know? These plungers get stuck real easy. I'm actually only using a 23 gauge needle. I don't switch out my tips, which I know a lot of, like most guys switch out their tips. My doctor decided that because my insurance doesn't cover my needles and syringes, to make it cheaper, even though they're cheap already, but to make it cheap, he just decided to go ahead and give me 23 gauge and just like only use that. Which honestly I'm fine with, it doesn't bother me that much. It just takes much longer to draw out the testosterone. <laughs> it's like the section on it is ridiculous. Ah, oh, there we go, now we're getting some. So if you do a shot, do you do it sub-Q or intermuscular? And what kind of gauge needles do you take and like how do they affect you after you take them? Okay. That hurts like a bitch. How do you guys flick your needles without hurting your freaking fingers? Okay, now it's the moment of truth. <sighs> I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. Oh shit, I see a bubble. Uh-uh, Mr. Bubble, get the fuck out. Get the fucking bubble out. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. One, two, three. Now the long, slow process. Make sure you always pull up on the needle a tiny bit. Make sure there's no blood. Very slowly push in your testosterone. It's super thick, of course, and if you take hormones, you already know that. But it just takes absolutely forever to go in. And if you rush it, it'll hurt a lot more. Green, you're contaminating my field. Hey, that is not a toy. Stop playing with it. I have a needle in me right now. You should really, like not be doing that. The medicine is in. Right. Where did my cap go? Uh-oh. Rain, you are not helping. I end up stabbing myself because of you. Okay, I will say, these band-aids are cute as fuck, but they are not the best at, like, going on. So, thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye. Redefining masculinity, one unicorn band-aid at a time.